Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah. All right, so what I'm seeing is um, there's a man here. This is a masculine. Um, they chose, whoever they chose over you is a karmic. She's angry. She's bitter with this person. She's constantly questioning this person about you. I feel like your name is being brought up in argument. She's, she's breathing down the back of their neck. She's monitoring their every move. Um, you know, if she's giving them 20 questions as soon as they come home. And this person, I feel like they don't even want to come home anymore. You know, they're ready to pop. They can't stand it where they are. Look at them. <laughs> they hate, they hate being where they are. And I feel like there's a whole group of people, friends and family that are laughing at this person. Okay, they're watching them be miserable. They know they're in love with you. Okay, they, they want to be somewhere else. They know they made the wrong choice. People are, people are now, I feel like, um, making fun of this person, criticizing them, putting them down because they chose this karmic over you. Like they're calling this person a fool for not choosing you in the first place. Okay, because they're literally miserable with whoever this karmic is. She's bitter. Um, she may want revenge on this person. It's like she's trying to take the manliness out of them. Okay? Um, she really is. She's trying to, like, ruin their manhood, their manliness. Okay? Um, she's very controlling, very bossy. I feel like she's got some kind of control over their phone as well. Like she could be um, looking into their phone records, their text messages, emails, um, possibly even starting some issues with this person at work. Okay, I could see this person, this feminine, giving them a hard time at work. They, they could even be losing some clients here because of this person. I mean, this masculine is being made to be a laughing stock while this karmic squashes their manhood, <laughs> okay? That's pretty much what's happening here. They feel very much alone because if they go home, they're going to be um, constantly, she like rules over them. They're going to be constantly um, nagged at, okay, by this karmic. I, I, I feel like this ca this person can't get a moment um, alone in their own home. They can't, I mean, she's even following them to the bathroom. Yeah, and um, they just, now it's like they, they want to be away from this karmic. They, when it comes to the karmic, they want to be in hermit energy. When it comes to everyone else who's making fun of them, they're kind of wishing they had a friend in their corner, but they don't. Okay, they don't. Like, everyone they know is making fun of them because they chose this karmic over you. This person feels like a big dope. They do. They feel, um, they just can't believe the mess that they got in, themselves into. This person wants a new beginning. Okay, they can't stand being with a karmic, but yet at the same time, I, I'm seeing this person with their mouth shut. Um, like they're, they're keeping it all inside. It's almost as if they don't want to fight with this karmic. They're walking around on eggshells. Um, they may even be being very secretive because she's going to snap over anything that they do. Okay, she's um, constantly questioning them about you because she knows this person wants you. And, and she's feeling, this karmic is feeling kind of panic because she knows she can't control this person anymore. They're absolutely miserable. The more she tries to control them, the more miserable this masculine is. Okay, so she's actually creating this environment in this relationship that's like totally toxic. The masculine doesn't want to be there anymore. She's pushing this masculine to like the brink of insanity. Okay, she's, she's stomping out any kind of love or passion that they once had together. 
just by trying to control the outcome or control what they do. Okay, this masculine is not in love with this karmic. They want something new, I feel, with you. They just want out. They want out of the situation. Okay, they're, they're kind of ashamed and embarrassed um, to be around their friends. And I feel like the more this karmic tries to hold on tightly, the more they lose control. I'm, um, I'm hearing, hold on tightly, but don't let it go. Or um, what is it? If you No, hold on, hold on loosely, but don't let go. If you cling too tightly, you're going to lose control. And that's what's happening to her. Who does that song, you guys? Is it 38 Special? I think it's 38 special, and that's exactly what's happening here. She's trying to hang on to this masculine so tightly because she knows that he wants to leave. But the, the, the tighter the grip she has on him, the less he wants to be there with her. He doesn't, no person wants to be controlled. No one wants to be controlled. No one wants to be um, followed around and monitored. Nobody wants that. This person feels like a like a sad hamster in a cage, basically, is what he feels like. You know, so he um, goes to the bar a lot. He'll sit there for hours. He doesn't want to come home. He's thinking of a way to get out and have this new beginning. This is what he daydreams about. You know, and these daydreams... That's like this, this person's only moment of happiness is when they're in like dreamy dreamland, okay? Dreaming of a new beginning or what they could have had had they made the right decision. And believe me, that's something that they're thinking about is that they should have chosen you because their friends and their family won't let them forget about this. Okay, their friends and their, this person's friends and family are constantly laughing at them. Okay, constantly laughing at this person like, man, did you screw up? You could have had, yeah, see, they're calling them out. They're calling them out on all of their crap. You could have had the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Look, this is, how they're, this is how they are with this person. You could have had the Queen of Pentacles, but you chose that instead. They're making this person feel like um, a total fool, okay? And you're moving on, having this victory in a time in your life where you're celebrating some major accomplishments. Like, you're, you're doing really well here. You're victorious you've healed you've been put through a battle but you're in this emperor energy now you're gorgeous you're celebrating things you're happy you're freeing yourself from the from this toxic situation and you're moving forward really quickly you could be a cancer you could be a taurus virgo capricorn your person could be a virgo maybe a scorpio yeah, and here's these people laughing at this person. Look, they're, I mean, they're feeling like a, like a, these people are calling this person a big dope. All right? They are. They're calling them a fool. They're laughing at them. Dude, you, you blew it. You could have had this. You could have had this, but you chose this mean karmic instead. Yeah, man. They know they screwed up. They know they screwed up, collective. Tried to manipulate the situation, maybe. Um, maybe they tried to manipulate some kind of outcome. I feel like this person, they had a choice to make, okay? And I feel like they were trying to, trying to stretch this out as long as they could. You know, but now it's to the point where, like I said, they can't take it anymore. This karmic is driving them insane. And they can't keep holding it inside anymore. Okay? Now they may have missed their chance with you, Collective, because I do see you independent. I see you stable, comfortable, doing really well without this person. Happy, um, abundant, 
okay? And having this victory and moving on in your confidence, your strength, right? So I feel like you're moving on and you're good without them. And people are laughing at this person for all that they lost. They lost a lot here when they made this messed up decision to choose this other person, okay? And I'm telling her, I'm telling you, the tighter her grip on this person, the more they want to leave her behind. So she's really just ruining things. Yeah, she's self-sabotaging. This person self-sabotaged. Okay, they did. They sabotaged their own happiness with you when they chose this karmic individual instead. And people are laughing. I mean, for real, the choice that they made, it's, it's blatantly clear this person totally effed up. And I feel like, yeah, uh, yes, this is the truth. Everyone is making fun of this person, okay? They are. Everybody is, like, making this person feel like ish over this. Yeah. They juggled you with someone else, put you in some kind of competition. I feel like it was a one-sided competition with this karmic. I feel like you haven't been competing with her. You've been working on yourself here. I mean, what I feel like what you've done here in having this victory, this is, you could be celebrating a major accomplishment, like I said. I feel like this takes a lot of effort. You had to get through a healing process. You had to get your confidence back. You had to get your self-esteem back. You had to work on yourself. You had to um, get your abundance, your money right. You had to get your financial stability right. Okay? You, you've been working on yourself, but I feel like all this karmic's been doing is focusing on you. You, you, you. She fights with this masculine every day about you. Well, yeah, okay, because she's competing and she can't compare. Um, you're an empress in the minor arcana here. Extremely successful, abundant. Um, you could have a lot of money. You could be growing your own business. Um, nurturing something here into a huge success. You're single, but you're you're gorgeous. The Empress in the Minor Arcana is extremely beautiful. You're also divinely led. You've gone through a transformation. Okay? I mean, who wouldn't want this? The, the Empress in the Minor Arcana is the true treasure in the deck. There's no way that this karmic can compete with you. And she knows that, right? She knows she can't compete because she doesn't really compare. She doesn't measure up. So what does she try to do? She tries to um, bully this person into staying with her because that's all really that she's got left is to strong arm this person into staying with her. And they want to leave. <laughs> They want to leave. They want to walk away from this karmic as soon as they can and come straight to you. You know why? You're moving on. And you're the real treasure here. There's not a person. I, I mean, someone would have to be crazy not to want a chance with you. Okay? For real. And this person knows that. And you're out here single. And you're moving on with your life. And that means you're ready for love here. And it's inevitable that you're going to get somebody new. Someone who isn't them. Someone else. And so this person, they want to walk away from this karmic as, as soon as they can and come back to you. Because they know that they're going to lose you here. And everyone is laughing at them. Okay? Everyone's laughing at them about this. And they're watching you. They're spying on you. Yep, you've already got your boundaries up. Um, you're confident. You're strong. I feel like you're just, you're ready for love. You're ready to extend that cup of love to the right person. Somebody who's going to reciprocate. Someone who's going to um, know the value and the worth of that cup of love in your hand. Okay, you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you could be a Leo, 
You could be a Virgo, heavy on Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle, and I feel like you're ready for new love. You're ready for new love. You know, this is the world card that's a completion to a cycle. And you did it beautifully. You did all your work, right? You've been focusing on you, collective. You haven't, you haven't had your nose in these people's business. You haven't been spying on anybody. You haven't been talking smack about anybody behind their back. You've been minding your own business and staying in your lane, okay? It's very clear to see here. This takes a lot of time, effort, and focus. This is learning your lessons and passing all your tests. It took you a long time to build this kind of um, financial security, right? Yeah, and you had to focus on your healing, too. You know how long that took? Years, for some of you. Years. So, you know, I mean, everyone, can, all of their friends somehow can see you, too. So you may have a public platform. You could be like a public speaker. You could be doing anything. I'm seeing a physical fitness instructor. You could have your own YouTube channel where you're making physical fitness videos, right? Um, you could get into something like Reiki healing or... Um, anything spiritual as well because you are being led but it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing you're putting something out there either um, either you have a platform on the internet or this could even be something like social media but everyone this not just this person but the karmic and all of their friends and their family are able to see what you're doing. And that's why people are like, oh my gosh, the collective is doing so awesome. She's the true treasure here. Ha ha ha, right? Tee hee hee. Um, you got duped. You did something really stupid. They're calling this person a big dope, okay? And they're, and they're telling them, you really hurt yourself when you hurt the collective. You really self-sabotaged um, your own future here. You know that, right? They're like laughing at this person. Yeah, I'm getting the sense they don't really know what to do. They feel very stuck. Like they want to turn, they want to walk away from this karmic so bad. And they want to turn back around and come to you. Yeah, they're feeling really stuck and defeated here. This person's in a lot of pain. They're going through it, collective. Okay, and they're literally kicking themselves for missing the opportunity with you. Yeah, look, they're missing out. This person's in a lot of regret. They're in a lot of regret for ever walking away from you and cutting you off the way they did, not communicating with you for years. You know, they're, they're, this person's in bad shape over this and everyone's laughing at them, watching them suffer. Calling them out on their BS. They're doing a lot of heavy drinking and guys, I've been picking up on that. Somebody doing a lot of heavy drinking for like the last week. Okay. Nonstop thinking about you. Very, very heavily burdened. They can't take it anymore. They can't take it. They keep looking back on the moment when they walked away from you. Okay. From that very moment, the, the divine gave this person a choice. Okay, they gave him a choice. Either you or this karmic. Either choose a divine path or a toxic one. You know? And now they're, they're looking back on this like, if only I had chosen a different path then. My life would be so different now. I could be in the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles right now. Had I chosen the collective instead of this karmic. Like, for real, this is what they're looking back on. This is them remembering having those memories of the of the moment when they walked away from you and made that very fateful decision okay that completely reversed their destiny basically is what happened okay 
that's what they do when they sit here and drink after being laughed at and made a mockery by their friends and this karmic they sit here and think about that that one decision that one decision cost them a beautiful future with you they totally effed up here All right, so what action, look at, now they want to get back together with you. What action is this person going to take? Ooh. What action are they going to take? Yeah, look, I feel like this person is about to approach you here uh, to try to make things right, okay? I'm, and I'm getting the sense that they're nervous, they're, they're shamed, they're being shamed. Uh, they're ashamed of themselves. They they just can't believe that they did something this stupid. That's pretty much what this is. I can't believe I did something this stupid. How do I fix this? Um, yeah, they know what they did to you. This person can't sleep at night. They're thinking back on how badly they betrayed you and how you didn't deserve it here. You were innocent with the Six of Cups. You didn't deserve the treatment they gave you. They're how, like, they're asking themselves, how do I, how do I say I'm sorry for what I did? It just seems like it's not enough. It seems like sorry is not enough. Okay, will the collective even listen to me after, after all this time? Oh my gosh, they feel like such a fool. Oh, they feel like such a fool collective. Yeah, because you know what they had? They had an earth angel. They had an angel. This person, I feel like they can't sleep at night. They lay in bed thinking about how loving and wonderful you are. And they had such a wonderful person, such a beautiful connection. And they threw it all away. They threw it all away. And it looks like they threw it away for no reason at all. They may have underestimated you at the time. Because two shakes before this is the Seven of Pentacles where um, you haven't reaped the rewards of all your hard work yet. You're still working really hard trying to build something for yourself but barely maybe scraping by. Um, like maybe this person thought that this karmic had more than you. Now she can't compare to you. She can't compare to you. Okay, now she's jealous of all that you have. And this person is realizing, man, oh my gosh, I had an angel. How do I apologize to an angel? You know, what am I going to say that's going to be enough, right? After what I've done. But I feel like this person, they know they need to come in and make it right. Here's the thing. If they don't communicate, this they're, they're going to lose their chance forever. That's how I feel about it. If they don't communicate with you, they will lose you for sure. You know, they, they are only going to have a chance if they take some kind of action. If there's no action taken, they can pretty much forget about it. And, and everyone's going to continue... Like, they'll never live this down. They won't. Their friends are not ever going to stop laughing at them about this. Like, they're going to be reminded of what they lost, okay, and this foolish decision the rest of their lives if they don't do something about it. Because this is what they want, but they're not going to get the Ten of Pentacles with you. They're never going to get a commitment with you unless this person makes some kind of move. Okay, or unless they um, do, you know, break away from the karmic and, and come towards you to communicate, right? They can't come towards you unless they're single. And now this person, I don't know, they're miserable, but they're still with the karmic. This karmic's hanging on for dear life. I mean, once this person gets home, they're on lockdown. Yeah, they're dealing with... A very angry, very bitter Queen of Swords. And she's jealous of you. 
Okay, I feel like she's only trying to keep this person away from you. She, there's really no love there. This doesn't, this isn't love. This is control. That's what that is. There's a huge difference. That's not love. That's control. That's wanting to win at all costs. There's not love there. You know, this, um, this karmic could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, so I feel like um, she wants the truth. Maybe she wants to hear, I don't know what she wants to hear from this person. You know, usually the Queen of Swords wants the truth of why she's been betrayed, but she already knows. She already knows the truth. She knows this person is in love with you. She just wants to keep them. Like, it's almost like, I don't know, maybe she's holding something over this person's head because they're so miserable that I honestly, I don't know why they're still there. Why, why is this person still there? Why is this masculine still even there? Because, I mean, they hate it there. They're in love with you. See, they just, they just keep saying they want to come and apologize. Um, I feel like maybe they're afraid of a tower moment happening. This karmic could be holding something over this person's head. Yeah, she's, she's going to expose something. Um, so yeah, she's definitely keeping some kind of secret. I knew it. I could feel it the way she's holding the sword up. Like she's getting ready. Like she's getting ready to speak their secrets. This is something she's threatening them with. Holding a, some kind of secret over their head. Okay, and she's about ready to expose it. If she exposes it, um, this whole, this person's whole world as they know it is going to come crumbling down. Man, they feel like such a fool. Oh, they feel like such a fool. Whatever this karmic knows about this masculine, it, it could ruin their business. It could ruin their reputation. They're already a laughing stock in their whole group of people that they know. So it's, it could even be something that they've done that's illegal. They could get in some legal issue for, for this stuff. But yeah, they could have had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with you had this person given you an offer. Had they chosen you and had been loyal to you, they could have been living wish fulfillment right now and not be suffering with this karmic, okay? Being threatened by this karmic. If you, look at the way she's doing this. If you so much as even talk or look at the collective, I'm gonna expose all of your secrets and bring down your tower. And people are already thinking they're a fool, okay? So if this news is exposed, though, it's, it's, it, people are going to be like, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, yeah, it will, it will ruin them. It could even ruin a business if they have a business or a job if they have a job, okay? Their whole life will change in an instant if she exposes whatever she's holding over this person's head. So that's why they're still there. Okay, and she does not want to let them escape, right? Seriously, that's what it is. It feels like she's, like, holding them. Um, I don't know. It almost feels like she's holding them against their will, really. Okay? This is like blackmail. It feels like blackmail. You'll do what I say or I'm going to expose you. It's kind of like that. Man... This is why this person is there still. But just know this, they're miserable. Everybody is laughing at them, turning them into a big joke. Um, let's see what they want to say. Oh, wrong deck, sorry. Sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> All right, what does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? 
Yeah, don't wait for me, please. Yeah, see, and here's another thing. You're doing so good out here, Collective, that this person just wants to see you continue to do well. Okay, I feel like they're they're proud of you. They are kicking themselves. They're really with they're in love with you here with the King of Cups. They're wishing they would have chosen you. And they're just telling you to keep moving forward, keep doing what you're doing, keep um growing and being successful. This person, I feel like they're kind of trying to protect you. You are so different from everyone around me. Yes, you are. Like, you're not giving this person a hard time. They're getting a hard time from any everyone in their life. Yes, and it's all too much. Yeah. Why can't I tell you the truth? Yeah, this person... Um, here's the thing, you know. Uh, this karma could be threatening to tell you the truth about them. Right? If you so much as think about the collective, that's what she's doing. If you so much as think about the collective... I'm going to go to the collective and tell them everything I know about you, right? And this person, if they were to come towards you and tell you their secrets, okay, they wouldn't have to worry about this karmic anymore. The secrets would already be out. But this masculine is afraid to tell you the truth. They're afraid to, they don't want you to know whatever this karmic knows. They don't want you to know it. So it's got to be pretty bad. Or I'm hearing gross. I don't know. It's got to be bad or it's got to be something pretty disgusting. Okay? They do not want you to know this. Yeah, will this ever change? This person feels so stuck. They're really hating their life right now. The way I have treated you was wrong. These feelings are eating me alive. Yeah. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. I feel like this is what they're saying to the karmic. Yeah, see, the karmic is like the karmic energy keeps kind of breaking this person. It's like she's breaking into the reading a little bit. Okay? Yeah, these feelings that they're having for you are eating them alive. But they feel like they can't talk to you right now because this karmic stops them every single time. She's threatening. She's threatening to expose some secrets or lies or something. Something they've got hidden. Okay? And she wants to expose them to you. And this karma, or this masculine does not want you to know. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is, but it, it's it's probably really bad, okay? 